what's up everybody Jonathan back here on Ridgecrest uh, I know we just had a Ridgecrest video uh, not too long ago but uh, I'm pretty pumped up about uh, getting this these wood chips done here on Ridgecrest I thought I'd make another video what the heck huh anyway we'll just get the last of these logs out of the buffalo and hopefully the wood chipper still turned on I think it should should start up when we get the logs close. Yep, there it goes. And there they go. So let's just look right quick here and see how we're doing on our trailer. Yep, that wasn't all that much. Well, let's go get us some more logs then. We'll drive the buffalo down there. Yeah, I think I'm going to start moving back up the hill this way because this is an awfully long skid down there. And we may end up moving the whole operation down here to the bottom of the hill, closer to the wood, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how this goes for a while. Cause I, I can't seem to stay ahead, I can't get any logs, you know. I, I'm filling up a truck with two or three logs and then just can't uh, can't stay ahead. All right, now where is our tractor with the this other one? Here we go. Oops. Unfold the pipe first. There we go. All right, now what's going on here? I just didn't have everything. I said I unfold it, but I thought I had it unfolded anyway. And at some point we'll drive the tractor up there to the top of the hill and unload all them wood chips. For right now, I'm just going to park it right up there. And we need to get us some logs picked up. If we've got any, I think there may be some down here somewhere. Yeah, th this map, the, the trees are kind of spread out, so you can't really drop a whole bunch at once. It's, I mean, you have to spend a little time working on it, I guess, but it's 
It's not like some of these other maps I'm used to. It's just loaded down with trees. So whenever this video airs, I should have um, maybe two, two or three more Pacific Inlet maps. I think maybe just two. Uh, before the high speed log in number three, which I've been working on quite a bit. I've got, uh, I think I'm up to 14 or 15 videos now, and each one of them is about an hour long. Of course, I'll compress those, you know, with the high speed log. I'll speed it up probably uh, at least 20 times, maybe 30 times fast, you know, uh, 30x speed. So we'll have some nice. Uh, uh, high speed logging, we can get a bunch done in a quick amount of time. I mean, that's you know, that would have been uh, f uh, probably uh, f at least 15, maybe 18 to 20 videos if I hadn't, uh, you know, done the high speed logging thing. Come on, get off of there. So I need two, at least two more logs to um, fill up this Ponzi Buffalo. We know now that it holds four logs. Let's see if we can get these processed up and loaded up.
Yeah, it's starting to get dark here on Old Ridgecrest. Don't think I have any floodlights bought yet either. Let's do that. Those things are really handy. What's going on here? Hmm, yeah. It doesn't work too well when those logs get real close to the vehicle. Oh yeah, before I forget, I, I did update the mods list uh, Google document in the description, so click on the, in the description below, click on the um, mods used link, it'll take you to my Google uh, spreadsheet, or Google Docs um, list of all the mods I'm using in these games, or in these, uh, in the game, but different maps, I'm using different things, of course, but and uh, now the the stuff that's you know in game, you know, I don't have that listed obviously, but like this Ponzi Buffalo, it's just in game vehicle. Oh, good grief!
back now and see if I can get this one that got away from us. That should give us a pretty full load in this time. The last time we uh, were a little gun shot, didn't get quite as many in there as we could have. But we know now that this thing holds four, right at four trees. And I probably am going to eventually set up a course play route uh, if we stay at the bottom of this hill. Uh, so I can drive this thing up the hill. That way I can be cutting down some more trees. Alright, what happened there? I must have hit it. Oh yeah, I know what I did. <coughs> anyway, I'll set up a course play route to uh, just drive this thing up and down the hill. So that way can we, we can be cutting down trees while it's heading up the hill. Or back down, I guess. Loading them up's not too bad. Unloading them's a little worse. This grapple's not the best. It works pretty good. does great on one logs but two or more it doesn't really work that great it's just too uh, floppy I guess is a good word <laughs> the little side grapple things just kind of flimsy or I guess the, the actual the, the actual claws themselves are kind of kind of floppy flimsy
This is this is working better, I think, than that grapple loader would have been. It's kind of slow, but I don't really know of a better way with this machine. I mean, the fastest obviously is to use that tractor-mounted uh, wood chipper thing, but that to me is not exactly realistic. So we'll stick with this. Uh, now I have uh, I have played around a little bit. Uh, with some of the early releases of uh, the Beast wood chipper, and I do like the Beast. I'm, I used it quite a bit in uh, Farming Simulator 15, but so far in 17, the the mods that I've used that people have converted or whatever, they, they haven't been the best, and so I just kind of have not been using it. But I haven't checked lately to see if there's a better one out. because we could just dump all the trees in there if we had that thing. Okay, now let's check on our trailer and see how we're doing. Ought to be getting close. Yep, in fact, that was it right there. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, drive this course. It'll probably stop somewhere along the way. Well, in fact, it's already stopped. What's going on here? Alright, there goes that one. Yeah, the trick is to catch uh, the wood chipper right about the time it finishes loading the truck because if you don't, uh, you'll only be able to get 5,000 liters out of the wood chipper. It doesn't store uh, the wood chips past that, so you'll end up losing some, I think, if you don't watch what you're doing. See how we're doing with this one so far. I know there's we just got started, but I'm just, just kind of curious. That's yeah, so about a third of the way done. Okay. All right, now our uh, other truck has reached a waiting point. Uh, what's happened here? Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, yes. I set up these waiting points at these bridges because they're only, you know, one lane. 
only get one truck across there, so I had to set up. And this, all this road right here is one lane. do is uh, I'm going to set up that I've got a, a course player right already set up from uh, the skitter that should should let us uh, drive this to the bottom we could do something else while that one's working sure what that was all about. I, I don't uh, don't remember setting up anything where it would go that way. Was, and I thought I had to set it up. No, oh, I bet it what I bet what it was was uh, whenever I told the driver to continue, I didn't check the uh, stop at next trigger or whatever activated. That's what happened. Yeah, I still have not set up a new course play route for this. I, I'm going to eventually set it up to where whenever you pull in here. It's going to come around to the right over here by the uh, wood chip cell point, and then it's going to back in, and it'll automatically dump its load right here at the opening of the wood chip storage area. And the cool thing about this trailer is it does look like there's some sort of a buffer around the axles where it, when it dumps out it doesn't get up under your axles and cause you to not be able to move once you've dumped your load. So that's pretty neat. Alright, well there's uh, load number four I believe. back here on this uh, get the course prey route get it going again I think it's gonna stop right here one more time And whenever we get another load in this buffalo, I'm going to set up a course play route for it to drive to the top of the hill. That way we can uh, be working on something else while it's going. Stumps are terrible.
Well, so much for that. Yeah, I might be switching back to my Tiger Cat 620 skitter. I like the 748, but it sure is slow. Maybe I just I'm just buy the Tiger Cat and leave this one for the close skids and have the Tiger Cat for the longer runs. Maybe that's what I'll do. I sure like this skitter. It's nice, the dual wheels and all that. Not that it makes any difference having the duels, but it just looks cool. Hmm, just thought about something. Let's try something. This is going to be definitely one of those do not try at home. <laughs> Let's give this a try anyway. Kind of on a downhill, that's not good. Uh, maybe if I parked it more at this angle. Let's see what happens. Maybe y'all can figure out what I'm trying to do here. That's working out pretty good. 
It's a lot faster than trying to pick them up with the bon Ponzi scorpion, that's for sure, or, or buffalo, that's for sure. All right, let's see how this worked. <laughs> Whoa, well, one wall got a little screwy in there, but that should be okay. At least it gets to the top of the hill. And we can unload them up there. Yeah, that one log right there got a little weird. That worked out pretty good. So a heck of a lot faster than picking them up one by one. Okay, now let's get us a little course play route set up this time. And we'll start it right about here. just stop it right about here because we'll have to we'll back it in manually
Yeah, this is working out pretty good. I like this. I like this setup. Like I said, the only thing I think would be better if we had a working, a good working beast wood chipper. And I may have to look into those again and see if there's a better one out now. I'll do some testing. I, you know, I, I think the ones that were out seem to work okay. Uh, they, uh, uh, it, whenever you hit F1 to bring up the little uh, menu or whatever that thing is up there, uh, it was it was it kept um, it was blinking and flashing and stuff and I don't know I just didn't care for that. Of course I didn't really need it once you get it set up you can turn that off, but it just appeared to me like it wasn't working too good. But I'll, I'll give the beast another try. I mean, it, this will be a perfect map for because all we're going to be doing basically is wood chipping. Then we can get some trees shipped up in a hurry. I even saw where somebody had taken a uh, combine. I think it was the, the Crone Big M, maybe? And they had put a wood chipper on the front of it. I think it could have been Rambo 145. He does some crazy stuff. Uh, I think that's probably who it was. I can't know for sure that I don't remember. Alright, well, you know, since we're not really doing anything serious on this map besides just wood chipping. Probably what I'll end up doing is uh, between videos I'll get some more trees cut down, get a whole bunch of them skidded up to the processor, uh, and then also in between videos I'll check on the beast and see if there's not a, a good one that we can download and, and try out. Because it would be nice just to throw these whole things in a, into a hopper and not this little conveyor belt thing, which this seems to be working okay, but you know, then we could uh, we could you, we could get back the uh, grapple loader, and we could just offload a bunch of these logs onto the ground, and just use the grapple loader to feed them into the the beast. That'd be the thing to do. And I'll get us, oh, I think we're out of, we're full up. And uh, I'll get us some, uh, some uh, work lights here for, from some of those floodlights for this area. It's getting kind of dark up here. Let's see what we're doing. Okay, now let's see. So we should get 5,000 out of that, I think, unless we didn't put in quite that much. No, nope, 5,000.
All right, well, we're just about out of time for this video, so we'll just kind of stop it right here. And uh, what we'll do for next time is I'm going to cut down a bunch of trees off camera and uh, get those skidded up to the processor down there. And I'll be kind of kind of thinking, too, about uh, if there's any way we can sort of... Um, speed up this process a little maybe uh, try some different equipment or different processes or something Let's see if we can't automate this a little better and I'll get us some uh, some floodlights to put probably uh, probably on the back side over here that seems to work out pretty good because if I put them well, I guess I could put one over here to the right of the uh, wood chipper. That's kind of out of the way. Anyway, we'll get some get some more things going here. And uh, oh yeah, the winch. <laughs> I guess I could hook up some trees and send it up the hill too. Well, or I guess to the processor would be the best way. Anyway, yep. So we'll keep on going next time on uh, Ridgecrest and. We're going to see how many uh, loads of uh, wood chips it takes to fill up that wood chip storage area. And uh, anyway, I'm just going to get this driver going again. And uh, we'll, we'll s I'll get this dumped in there. In fact, we'll, we'll just hang out here just for a second until we get our truck dumped. And then we'll, we'll close out the video because want to see this in fact whenever we get just around the corner up here I'm gonna go ahead and stop the driver Oh, it's got lights. That's pretty cool. I thought those may have been lights. I wasn't sure. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Alright, well that's going to do it for this video and uh, we'll have the new totals up at the top of the screen so you can see how many liters, thousands, hundreds of thousands of liters we've got in the uh, wood chip storage area and I'll get this truck sent back uh, up to the uh, job site. But anyway, we'll see you next time on Ridgecrest. This is Jonathan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.